Hello, this is Billy Kaur from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Tonight is um, Wednesday, August the 27th of 2014, and this is a somewhat different but somewhat more unique video. Um, I, this is an idea I had about 15 minutes ago, and I figured why not go ahead and make the video while I still think it's a, think it's a good idea before I come to my senses. <laughs> um... About a year ago, I um, filmed a video, I think back in the spring of 2013, of um, why I love nostalgia so much. And one of the things I mentioned a little bit is um, one of the, I like to study my childhood. And by study, I like to go through old pictures, um, watch old home videos, and even go online and try to find pictures and like TV commercials that kind of stuff from when I was a kid and I and I thought I would make a quick video showing how I do some of this so um, most of what I do is done with the computer this is um, a computer I still need to do a video about I haven't even had it a week yet my Dell Vostro 260 quick specs um, it has an Intel 3 it has an Intel Core i3 um, Running at 3.3 gigahertz, I believe it's a Sandy Bridge style chip. It has a 160 gigabyte Western Digital Velociraptor drive, which I find it amazing. Four and four gigabytes of RAM, running Windows 7. But um, this isn't about the computer. Um, in this particular video, um, I guess the first thing I should start with um, is to bring up a folder I have saved on my two terabyte hard drive. It's a folder called Retro Files. Um, I've been doing this, I've, I've had folders like this since the mid 2000s. Um, this is where I keep the majority of my, um, of the stuff I find involving nostalgia. Except for Carolina Circle Mall, that's all in its own, own folder. And um, mostly the same thing with Packard Bells. It's in its own little um, folder on the computer. But uh, um, what this mostly consists of is videos, um, mostly like TV shows and um, commercials, that kind of stuff. You can see some of the stuff I have here. Some of the stuff is for my own collection. Some of the stuff I've downloaded off the internet over the years. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, like, like, let's open a folder here, uh, hmm. old Golden Corral pictures, this is something I've kind of been interested in for the past year or so, um, I don't know if I've uh, mentioned this or not, but when I was a kid, um, in the mid-90s, one of my biggest, um, favorite restaurants in the entire world was Golden Corral. Uh, back when they were a much smaller um, restaurant than they are nowadays. In fact, back then, um, they didn't have just the buffet. You could actually order entrees there. And stuff from, pa from not, not Packard Bill, <laughs> um, stuff from Golden Corral's um, early years is hard to come by. But I found a couple of things um, here and there. Um, like, oh, I remember this sign from the mid-90s, the Golden Choice Buffet. And the same thing, except on a coffee mug. And this sign from when they had entrees, um, Golden Value Combo Dinners. Oh boy, does that look delicious. <laughs> Again, all this stuff I found, um, doing stuff like Google searches and all that good kind of stuff. And I got TV show like stuff um, saved on here so again for my some from my own collection some from the internet uh, oh uh, let's open this up um, Cartoon Network 1995 this is from a VHS tape I found at a thrift store a couple of years ago um, this was recorded off Cartoon Network in September of 1995 uh, let's open this one up Oh, yeah, I forgot I got it on this secondary monitor. Like I said, it's not the most organized thing in the world, but it's still somewhat organized, I suppose. There's an old commercial there for M&M's. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I remember those little micro machine play sets. Oh, Pogs. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Memories, oh, good memories. In fact, it was in, um, it was in, uh, July of 1994 when my local cable, cable system here in North Carolina started carrying, um, the Cartoon Network. So we've had it for over 20 years now. Which, sadly, um, Cartoon Network is nothing like it used to be. It's just a bunch of, um, it, it's pretty much the, they ought to just call it Fart Joke Network, in my opinion. There's a wrong little fart joke here and there, but I mean, that's all you do. <laughs> uh, bring the cursor back over here. And commercials, these are the ones that are just divided up individually. I got another folder um, on my hard drive where I have entire commercial breaks. These are the ones that are just individual, some from my own videotapes. And a lot of them are uh, ones I've downloaded off the internet over the years. Uh, let's uh, find a quick one to view. Ah, oh, yeah. This one's a classic. Ignore that, my mom's um, vacuuming right now. Oh yeah, that was back in the early 90s when um, they had all these different kinds of pops. I guess they still have some of these, but they were a little bit more pre um, prevalent 20 years ago. Um, you had ring pops, push pops, um, whistle pops, melody pops. Um, and then by the late 90s, we had um, baby bottle pops. Um, never cared for those, but some people did, and that's okay. Yeah, and um, from certain tapes, I have stuff divided up. Um, all right, let me uh, pull up another folder here where I keep um, entire commercial breaks. Okay. Uh, let's see, which one should we bring up? Let's go to Nickelodeon. Uh, because I'm a rebel and I don't care what Viacom thinks about me putting their stuff on YouTube. Hmm. I'll make a decision here um, eventually, folks. <laughs> uh, let's do uh, December the 11th of 1993. Let's just do this one. Probably need to redo this one. There's a little bit of interlacing. Good for you. You guys want some nostalgia? Here's some nostalgia from the year Connects came out, 1993. Oh, do I remember this commercial? Connects. This came from a video trade I did um, a little over a year ago. Um, a, good, a really nice guy sent me um, tons and tons of um, Nickelodeon SNCC. Um, airings from throughout the year 1993 and a little bit from the early part of 94 as well January that is I'll close out of that and um, I'm very grateful for those lots of nostalgia to be had and of course as I mentioned earlier I got the Carolina Circle Mall folder here a lot of stuff I've been collecting 
and of course um, one of the biggest things I've been doing throughout the years is going to the um, Greensboro Public Library downtown and um, what I do is I go to where the microfilm section is and I and they have um, every edition of the Greensboro News and Record um, from probably the past 100 years if not longer and I go through um, newspapers um, from the 90s to find old um, newspaper ads for Carolina Circle Mall as well as a few other things. It's been a while since I've been to um, do the microfilm there at the library because, um, well, to be quite honest, over the past several years of doing this, I've kind of exhausted all the um, Carolina Circle Mall, Ma Carol I can't talk them, um, the Carolina Circle Mall ads that were published um, back in the day. Um, even for the 80s and 90s um, combined, I think I've exhausted everything. So, um, for, let's take a look at the newspaper ads I've collected. Uh, let's look at one of my favorites from October 1992. This is um, from their 16th anniversary. Gives you a list of a lot of the stores that were um, at the mall in the later part of 1992. Again, you can pause some of this if you want to see them. And of course, uh, my most prized um, ad from November of um, 1993. The day Carolina, not Carol the day Santa Claus parachuted into Carolina Circle Mall. Not Carolina Circle Mall parachuting into Santa Claus. That would be quite painful. And from November 26, 1993, the day before I turned four years old, I do remember this happening. Um, I remember watching WFMY News 2 um, Evening News that night and seeing um, a video of what looked like Santa Claus's sleigh flying over Carolina Circle Mall. And as a kid that would be turning four years old the next day, um, I thought that was the most amazing thing in the world. Santa flying over Carolina Circle Mall. Oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I could find video of that someday. Yeah, and um, of course, over the years, I've collected a ton of pictures of the mall. Let's, I've divided them up through eras. Um, we have the carousel era and the ice rink era. Let's look at the carousel era, which is the 90s, so that's what I remember. And this is the most recent picture um, I've discovered. Um, this was posted on the Greensboro News and Records Facebook page a few weeks ago for um, Throwback Thursdays. Um, this is the entrance to Montgomery Ward at Carolina Circle Mall back in November of 1989, the same month I was born. But this is how I remember it looking. I remember that little fountain there, that little blue fountain, and those stairs and everything. But now, it, but. I don't get too many pictures of Carolina Circle Mall these days, unfortunately. Um, one thing I've been after um, is anything involving the carousel. And, of course, you've seen this picture dozens and dozens of times, and myself, um, I've seen this so many times since 2005 when I was given this picture. This is the actual carousel at Carolina Circle Mall, taken sometime in either 1992 or 1993. This is the only real picture of the carousel I have. Um, ever since 2005, I've been looking for other pictures of the carousel, but after the past nine years, this is the only one I can find. Someday, maybe I'll find another one. We'll just wait and see, Lord willing. And, um, yeah, it's enough of the Carolina Circle Mall stuff. Now, um, how do I find a lot of this stuff? Well, let's open up good old Mozilla Firefox. And um, one thing I actually did a while ago is um, actually is do a Google image search for Carolina Circle Mall. Now, I didn't find anything a few minutes ago, and 
I'm pretty sure I won't find anything now on video, but this is just a way to show you what I um, like to do to do this. You can see um, Google's um, suggested search. Um, Carolina Circle Mall Wiki is in there, of all things. And here we are. Most of these pictures are ones I've seen and or um, have or even am in, <laughs> if you can believe that. A lot of these are actually thumbnails from my YouTube channel. So yeah, like I said, um, nothing, um, nothing new um, today. And a lot of this stuff um, is actually not a Carolina Circle Mall. And there's me um, hanging up my Carolina Circle Mall so restroom sign back in June. Um, that was from the video I did of it. It's still up there, thank goodness. <laughs> we haven't had a disaster yet. Now, another thing for... Um, that's not really Carolina Circle Mall related um, that I like to do is, as you know, I'm a big fan of old commercials, um, especially if they're from uh, Nickelodeon or anything local. Let's bring up YouTube. And let's, and I had again, I did a search for this a while ago and there wasn't really anything new. Um, let's type in, what I usually like to do is just type in specific years. Let's say Nickelodeon uh, 19, uh, 1994. Again, I've already done this um, earlier. You can see um, stuff from my retromercial um, Billy um, channel here on YouTube. And I always like to just sort by upload date. And again, a lot of this stuff is either. Um, Recorded with a video camera held up to a TV screen, which if you if you're gonna do that, you might as well not even upload it. <laughs> get a ta get yourself a good capture card, folks. And again, nothing really um exciting to see um today. Well, new that is. And then uh, I'll do stuff like um, change the year. Let's say we'll change 94 to 95. Sort by um, upload date. And again, um, nothing really um, to see. And I haven't done this in a while. Let's just do a general um, search. Let's just type in commercials 1994. Well, I need to I probably ought to take a look at these if I haven't downloaded them yet. Now I downloaded these um, th these commercials the other week from some kids commercials from April of 1994. Uh, I remember these Cookie Crisp commercials. Big thank you to Michael Pannoni here on YouTube for uploading this. And um, when I see something I like, I um, have a add-on for Firefox called Video Download Helper, which puts this little icon up here, and I just click this button here and go to Quick Download, and it downloads them to a specified um, folder on my hard drive. But I'm not going to download it because I already have this saved. And... What is that? Anyway, um, now I'm going to show you a website that I've had a part of since the year 2005, nine years almost, and it's a little site called Retro Junk.
Go ahead and click this here. Wait for it to load up. I do have an account here, but I'm currently um, not logged in. One thing I used to do back in the day, um, in fact, I still do it every now and then, I guess, um, is I write nostalgic oriented articles for um, Retro Junk um, because that's one of their biggest features is um, articles. I remember the first one I did was living in 1994, 1995, all the way back in 2006, and I did several of those and for, from around that time, and they were quite popular. And um, here, let me see if I can log in here and. and show off my recent, uh, my most recent article, which I did um, back in May. And it's about the 1993 Toys R Us catalog I did, um, that I got last fall. I believe that was the subject of my 400th video um, back in November of 2013, and yeah, just look for my name on um, Retro Junk. I'm the s same name I am on YouTube, um, which is Rogue Geek. Yeah, a lot of good um, comments on the on the, my articles. I'm very grateful for this, and I don't do this as much as I used to. Um, but Retro Junk also has a commercial section, and I have it filtered to '90s only. I um, have nothing against the '80s or anything, but this is what I'm interested in the most. Uh, let's find a. Um, Let's do it by category. Um, let's do toys. I have a feeling a lot of these were taken off of my um, retro retro commercial Billy channel. Uh, let's see what this goofy golf machine is all about. I think I remember this. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember that. I believe that's from yeah, 1995. Let's go back to my retro files folder and show you another little um thing I do. Well, actually, um, I just now remembered. Um, we saw some Carolina Circle Mall ads earlier, but let's take a look at some just some plain old everyday um newspaper ads from the 90s. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's bring this one up. Uh. Circuit City, November 5th, 1994. Circuit City, where service is state-of-the-art. And um, there's a good reason why I saved this particular one. Now, isn't that surprising? <laughs> Not sure what model Packard Bell that is. It's a 486DX2, 4x4 desktop model. Back when um, VCRs were oh so commonplace and so was Circuit City they um, closed back in 2009 unfortunately uh, uh, let's see oh these are always fun to look at um, Here's a Toys R Us newspaper ad for um, from October 24th of 1993. Um, we have the Aladdin VHS, magically priced, 
And um, Aladdin for Sega Genesis. I have a copy of that somewhere. That Talking Barney. I may. I, and oh my gosh, the Bumble Ball. I remember go, going all over um, town back then um, trying to find one of those. They were very hard to find. And here are Toys R Us locations in um, Greensboro, um, High Point Road. Um, Back when our area code was 919, it's changed to 910 in 1994 and then changed to 336 in 1997. But Greensboro South, High Point Road, that, that one's still um, open and doing fairly well. And, of course, um, the main one, um, Greensboro Ring Road next to Carolina Circle Mall. Um, obviously, that one's no longer with us, unfortunately. And, um, oh, what else? Uh, eh, that's good enough. Newspaper ads, at least. And, um, of course, I um, have a folder full of old pictures I've scanned. Um, most of these I really need to redo um, because I scanned these back in, I want to say, 2007. And I had the same scanner these to this day, but back then I didn't understand the concept of DPI. So I went with the default, which was only like 300 DPI. So quality is not as good as it needs to be. Oh yeah, this is an old Polaroid picture. Um, this was Easter of 1992, I want to say. Um, this was taken at Dillard's at Carolina Circle Mall. Creepiest looking Easter Bunny I have ever seen in my entire life. And that is not blood, that's just a little bit of dirt that was on the actual picture. <laughs> a lot of people ask that when they see that picture. And I guess I can understand. It does look quite rather gross. Mmm, I wonder what that could be. Mm-hmm, mm hmm that was taken in 1997, by the way. And this is me um, one Christmas Eve at my grandmother's house. I want to say 1994, possibly. Um, there wasn't a date written on it. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah, this is me with the actual Easter Bunny at... Carolina Circle Mall. I don't know um, when this was. I want to say 1995 or so. Not sure what I'm holding, but again, uh, maybe I can figure out if I rescan this um, with a higher DPI setting. But yeah, um, that's just a few of the things I do um, to study um, 1990s nostalgia. I um, I hope I didn't bore you guys too much. Um, I know this probably won't be the most exciting video in the world, but I'm sure there there's a couple of people out there that might enjoy this, and I needed something to do tonight because I was kind of bored. <laughs> so um, this is Billy Core signing off on um, August the 27th of 2014. Good night, everybody.